Hello and welcome to this tutorial, part of our photo restoration series that we're making. And uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be covering borders and edges for our photographs. Now we've got the lovely Angelina Jolie here as a demonstration. So what we're going to be doing is adding some borders and showing you how easy it is to change these borders, grunge borders, and all sorts of borders like that, at a click of a button to give your photos a nice effect. So let's get started. First off, what we need to do is make a backup copy of our image, as always. And then from there, we're going to go to Image, Canvas Size. Now, let's just put some figures in here, like so. Now, this is going to vary for every different photo that you use, because obviously every photo is a different shape and size. So you have to play around with this bit, I'm afraid. Make sure you've got the tick in the relative part, and whatever colour you want your border and then click OK and that puts a nice little white board around so then from there I want you to click on the control key and then click on the actual top photograph the top layer and that will put the marching ants on the inside like so now from there what I want you to do is go up to select and modify and then contract and this is another one that you're going to have to guess with because each, every photograph is going to be different but 20 pixels maybe 15 or whatever but we're going to try 20 and see how that goes and that's now as you can see put the marching ants and jumped on the inside of the photograph there so that's going to be our selection now from there I want you to push control key and click on this new layer and what that's done is that's put a nice level a, a nice layer in the middle of these two and that's what we want if I didn't have the control key down that would have put the level at the top and you'd have just have to drag it down so it's just a shortcut there so the next thing we need to do is go up to the top like so and click on layer mask which is this icon here and as you can see if I click on the all key and click on that it, that's the sort of look we're looking at what we need to do now is obviously fill this layer with white so what I want to do is go edit fill and I want to use the full oh, no, I don't I want to make sure put our default colors on and make sure the foreground's white and then go fill foreground color white and that's now put that white bit in where that selection was made earlier so what we need to do now is click on our mask and this is where we're going to be adding all our filters and all our effects on so basically uh, you're not actually adding the effect or the border or the edges to the actual photograph itself it's going to be added to the mask so let's go to filter brush strokes and spatter and straight away it's give us this box coming up now that's going to be our edge that we're going to see on our photograph which is going to be pretty funky so let's go up to OK and you can play around with these and each one of these will give you a different selection so click OK and let's drag this across so you can see and as you can see that's our effect that we've got pretty simple but say you didn't want the white border and you wanted to change the colour well that's not a problem all we'd have to do is just click on this layer here and just pick the colour that we want say for instance you wanted uh, a blue or green or whatever you know it just doesn't matter just click on that go edit fill foreground colour which will be our new colour and click OK and there we've got our new colour so straight away we've made a simple border straight away out of a couple of clicks now say for instance you didn't like that effect I'm going to leave this uh, color on so you can see the effect a little bit better uh, so basically I mean, what you need to do is go filter brush strokes and then say for instance crosshatch make made a mistake there push cancel you must make sure that you always clicked on this um, mask before you add the filter otherwise it's not going to work so basically go back to crosshatch and then we're going to get this sort of effect here so click OK and that's now put the cross hatch on so let's just put this back to white so we can see roughly what we've got default colors
colors and then fill that up foreground white so we can see okay so then let's click, click back on our, our mask and then change this so basically as you can see this is totally different to totally different you can actually put in anything you like any filter will be a, attached to that mask and that will give us the effect that we we're after so let's just go um, and click through so you can see some of the effects that you can have so basically any time I click on any of these you'll see the change and this change in this filter here will be the effect that you're going to be having on your photograph which is pretty cool uh, because it's just going to save you so much trouble and this is probably one of the easiest ways that I've seen so for instance if you wanted this one you click OK and straight away you've got a nice effect around your photograph like so and that's just at the click of a button and that's all from this same same little setup that we've got here which is really easy now say for instance we was happy with this and you can go through and play to your heart's content on them other filters so say we was happy with this one what you could also do for another selection uh, of filters is go to distort and displace and then this box will come up and put in some figures in here say something like 15 and 15 click OK and you need to go all the way to your Adobe Photoshop folder that's what you need to do and basically once you get to that Adobe Photoshop folder you go into presets and textures and that gives you a load of these textures in here you can add a load of more textures that means loads more different borders that you can add which is another uh, the list is endless so we're just going to click on this and then basically by just clicking on that texture it's give us a nice little border pretty simple so the last bit I'm going to show you is coming up to edit fade displace and now we can actually play with the opacity which is going to play with the difference which is another load of difference uh, that you can do with each filter that you add and also we can play around with these which also adds even more um, difference to the filter that we're going to be using for our photos so as you can see the list is absolutely endless so I hope this uh, helps you out and have fun trying out all your different uh, photos and, and borders and post them up and make some comments and let us know how you get on thanks very much for watching my name's Brian I'll be making some more tutorials in the future bye for now